Welcome to the Composite Panel Builder demonstration of the automatic wall joint utility. In this session I will use the automatic wall joint feature to lay out panels along a linear wall in plan and section view. Once those are created I'll use the plan and section to generate the panel elevation and once that's completed we'll go ahead and generate the flat panel views. So to get started we need to draw a polyline and trace the intersection points of where the reveals uh, intersected the plan and also where the reveal of the elevation intersected the section. And that's the first step. Next one is to uh, run the utility automate wall joints and we'll add the panels along this wall. And as you can see a lot of detail and we have two yellow uh, corners inside and outside and they're yellow because they have a, a special detail attached to each one of them. Those will come in handy in a few seconds. Next we'll draw the uh, section the same way by snapping to the uh, intersection points of the center lines of the reveals from the elevation. We'll run the uh, automatic wall joint utility on this and this time we'll select section and we get our panels there. Now it's time to generate the elevation view of the panels and that's done through this project sides utility. First you select the plan then you select the section. And as you can see the uh, automatic grid locates uh, is located and we'll start with panel number F1. So now we can see all the panels that have been placed but we still have a little work. Uh, what we want to do is link these special details to the row of panels that they uh, are respectively lined up with. So to do that we use this utility called Quick Link Plans or Sections. We select the detail and then the panels. We could window those. And we'll do it again for the other one. Quick Link Plans and Sections. Select this guy and then these three panels. Alright, as you notice that as the panels went around the corner uh, this is the representing the outside corner but this panel in particular has been overlooked because it's not in this view. So if you want to uh, handle it in this area basically you have a polyline from the two points that's what's over here and we'll do the same thing we did with uh, the other polylines. We'll use our automatic wall joint utility put a couple fasteners on that and then project it using the uh, project sites click on that click on the section and there's the row of panels and it'll continue with the numbering uh, next available so there's our panels uh, what's left is now we'll just go ahead and uh, draw the flat panel view by pulling up this dialog and selecting all the panels that we just created these are the options that you can set to define how the panels will be built we'll draw those. As you see they uh, come in with dimensions, uh, pilot holes, even the uh, rain the rain screen systems will have the uh, weep holes show up. So the cutting machine can do all the work. Now the reason we have, uh, let's zoom in and get some detail here, the reason we have uh, pilot holes is to keep uh, the shop uh, people from having to work too, too much by measuring out all these holes. The cutter machine will handle all that for you. And as you can see as we zoom in around the corner this is a continuous loop so the routing process of the uh, CNC machine never has to pick up and move and, and drop again. It's continuous and this especially will give you a, a nice routered edge when you fold these joints together. So basically to recap the automatic wall joint utility in the uh, composite panel builder program is an immense time saver. It lays out the panels along uh, linear walls, it projects, it can uh, project the panels down into elevation view and give you so much more so fast. So within four to five minutes we've just created a ton of panels. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos. Thank you.